Joshua is mercy on our leader, Prophet Muhammad, his household and companions till the day of accountability. Today we are discussing marriage. Very brief. Marriage is the sunnah of all the messengers. Allah has confirmed in the Quran that before Prophet Muhammad وسلم, marriage has existed. وَلَكَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ رُسُلَا وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ أَزْوَاجًا وَزُرِيَا We have sent messengers before you. We have made provision for them to marry. Azwaj. Wazuriya. And to procreate. If the world will continue, there must be procreation. And that can only be accepted by Allah through legal Islamic marriage. For a Muslim. And that's why Rasulullah Sallam gave some guidelines. He said a woman is being married for four things. Because of her wealth. Because of the nobility of the family. Senator. Governor. President. Powerful business. Takom. Very big politician. Noble family. And then because of her beauty. And of course, because of religiosity, her religion. Rasulullah Sallam said, marry those who are religious. This is sound advice. That does not mean she will not come from a noble family or she will not be beautiful. Of course, beauty is relative. Or she may not have wealth. No. But make sure, make sure that person is religious. And then he said, whosoever comes seeking for the hand of your daughter, long as the person is religious, he has good character, marry her out. We can see the universality of Islam. Language is not mentioned. State is not mentioned. Religiosity. Character. Look at Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi given a formula. Sound. Concrete. Convincing. Because he may be religious all the time in the mosque. Saful awal. Fasting Monday to every time fasting. Everything to hajj. Everything who starts. But his manners and behaviors are bad. No marriage for him. He may also have the manners. Before he greet him, he will kneel down, bend down ten times. But he's into drugs. No salat, no siyam, no marriage for him. Look at the two guidelines. Two points very brief, concise and convincing. Religiosity and morality. Today, a number of our marriages are not built on those principles. They are purely built on materialism. Very few, very, very few are those who consider the noble words of Rasulullah Sallam. And that's why, long as we have marriages in our mosque, divorce is almost everywhere. It's very unfortunate. It's a calamity and crisis for the ummah to, in, to go into the divorce almost everywhere. It's a calamity. It is because those guidelines are not followed. Those guidelines are ignored. Look, poverty doesn't stop marriage. Allah confirmed and gave a guarantee. Allah confirmed. Marry out those who are single among you, either male or female. And the Quran went as far as discussing concubines and slaves. They should marry too. Because the urge of desire is planted in man. He has no option to it. Long as he cannot discharge it legally, he will discharge it illegally. 
And that's why some Westerners and those who are having their ideologies will condemn early marriage. What is wrong in it? If girls and young boys are going into Zina at the age of 12, 13, 14, why condemning somebody marrying at the age of 18, 20? Why? Why? And polygamy must be emphasized after knowing the principles and guidance. Because the way we have daughters and sisters roaming without husbands, and I said the urge is natural. And that's why Islam made provision. Marry two, three, or four. Where you cannot be fair and just, then marry one. Don't marry one and have ten outside. That's why we have bastard, criminals. Nobody take care of them. Single mother. What can she do? She cannot do it. In a society that is terrible now, the man and the woman too are battling. What of a bastard child? And that's why criminality will continue. Long as zina is continuing. The baraka of marriage is to, is to be simple. Simple marriage. Not a difficult marriage. Make it so simple. If you don't have the means, don't go beyond your limitation. Don't copy others. Unfortunately, it's even beyond copying others. It has gone to copying Nasara and Yehud. After making the simple marriage of Islam in 10 minutes in the mosque or in the house. Come and see where the Nasara gown will be flowing. She will put on a very big gown flowing. Her head open, everywhere naked. Uh, the cake is as tall as the husband. The father is there, the mother is there. They are cutting cake, dancing and eating in public. This is not our culture. It takes away the baraka of most of our marriages. You can't deceive Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Until we get it right that our families are ideal, the society will never be ideal. It's not a magic. We are complaining about our leaders. Yes, leaders are produced from families. They are never sent from the heavens. If each and every unit of family is ideal, automatically, automatically no option, the society is going to be ideal. Where families are bastardized, refuse to obey Allah's injunctions, then you are dreaming. No amount of dua, don't waste your energy. Everything comes with sabab. That's why Allah says, Ya ayu alladhina amanuku anfusakum wa ahlikum nara wa quduhan nasu wal hijara alayha malaikatun ghiladun shidad. Families must be safe first. Before you have a society that is decent and moral. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the marriages conducted earlier before this message to be a baraka marriage, a successful marriage. And those that are coming after, whether here or any part of the world, may Allah put baraka in it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala consider our act of marriage to be ibadah for all of us. May Allah rectify the wrongs which we are doing, either intentionally or otherwise in our families. May Allah rectify it for all of us. Allahumma is al Islam wal Muslimin. Wadamir Ada Ana Adaka Ada Adin. Allahumma alayka bil kafara wal fajara wal fasaka. Allahina ukiruna al Islam akaida. Allahumma alayka bim fa inna humla yuzunak. Rabba nakfilla na zunubana. Wakafir anna sayi atina. وتوفنا مع الأبرار ربنا لا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وأفو أنا وقف لنا ورحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا عذاب النار إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد